Hi everyone, welcome to class 7 science. In the chapter nutrition in plants, we are going to discuss the question answers. First, we will discuss the filling the blanks with correct words. Now see the first question. The process of taking in food by an organism and its utilization by a body is known as DAS. It is a process of taking food is what? It is a nutrition. The answer is nutrition. Now look at the second question. Green plants are dash. Is green plants are autotroph or heterotroph? Green plants can prepare their own food. So it is an autotrophic nutrition. So the answer is autotrophs. See the third question. Dash is released in the process of photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plant will release oxygen. And plant will take the carbon dioxide. So the right answer is oxygen. So oxygen is released in the process of photosynthesis. Fourth question, chlorophyll is found in dash. Is chlorophyll is found in chloroplast as tomato? The chlorophyll is found in chloroplast. The answer is chloroplast. See the fifth question, plants obtain carbon dioxide through dash. So how the plant will obtain carbon dioxide through the tomato? So the answer is tomato. Now we will discuss the match the following. See the first question, carbon dioxide. So how plants will obtain the carbon dioxide through Stomata. So the answer is stomata. See the second question water. So the plant will absorb water through the root has. Third question auto. Auto means what? Self. So green plants are example for autotroph. Fourth question iodine solution. To show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis in this activity we use iodine solution. When iodine solution was dropped on the leaf surface the iodine reacts with stars to turn blue black. So this confirms the chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. For iodine solution, starch is the correct answer. Look at the fifth question, green plants. Green plants are chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green pigment that enables the plant to trap light energy. So the right answer for green plants is chlorophyll. Now we will discuss the true or false statement. See the first question, the host plant provides food to the parasitic plant. Of course, yes, the host plant provides food to the parasitic plant. It is a true statement. See the second question, dodder is a saprophytic plant. No, dodder is a parasitic plant. It is a false statement. Third question, Venus flytrap is an example of an insectivorous plant. Yes, Venus flytrap is an example of an insectivorous plant. It is a true statement. Fourth question, symbiotic plants grow in nitrogen deficient conditions? No, insectivorous plants only grow in nitrogen deficient conditions. It is a false statement. See the fifth question, rhizobium is present in the roots of leguminous plants? Yes, rhizobium is present in the roots of leguminous plants. It is a true statement. Now we move to give one word for the following. See the first question, the organisms which derive their food from other organisms. So other means it is an heterotrophic organisms. Heterotrophic nutrition only depend on other organism to derive its nutrition. The answer is heterotrophic. Look at the second question. A plant which derives some or its entire nutritional requirement from another living plant. So what is the answer? Only parasitic plants derive their nutrition from another living plant. The answer is parasitic plant. See the third question. Plants which capture prey like insects, spiders and mites. So which plant will capture the prey? They are insectivorous plants. See the fourth question. Plants which derive their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter. Saprophytic plants derive the nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter. So the answer is saprophytic. See the last question. Plants which are part of a symbiotic association. Symbiotic plants are the part of a symbiotic association. The answer is symbiotic. Now we move to the objective type questions in section 1. First we will discuss the choose the correct option. See the first question. This is the main site for photosynthesis. The option A is stem, option B is leaf, C is fruit and D is root. So among this, leaf is the main site for photosynthesis because in leaf, the chlorophyll is present inside. The chlorophyll is useful for the process of photosynthesis. The correct option is leaf. 
look at the second question this is the end product of photosynthesis so for the process of photosynthesis plants take carbon dioxide and water with the presence of chlorophyll and it gives sugar that is the glucose the answer is glucose see the third question chlorophyll is present in so chlorophyll is present in the thylakoid see the fourth question plants obtain carbon dioxide through pores called so plants will obtain carbon dioxide through the stomata the answer is stomata see the fifth question xylem helps in transporting water and minerals from so xylem helps to transport the water and minerals from the roots to stem look at the sixth question dodder is a is dodder is a parasitic saprophytic insectivorous or symbiotic plant dodder is a parasitic plant see the seventh question saprophytes derive their nutrition from so we know that saprophytes derive the nutrition from dead and decaying matter see the eighth question pitcher plant is an so pitcher plant is an parasitic plant or insectivorous plant or symbiotic plant or saprophytic plant we know the answer is insectivorous plant pitcher plant is a insectivorous plant look at the ninth question these are found in bog soil actually what is the meaning for bog bog is an area of wet muddy ground that is too soft to support a heavy body so here the option b venus flytrap is found in the bog soil see the last question lichen is an association between so we know the answer lichen is an association between algae and fungi now we will discuss the fill in the blanks with the correct words see the first question dash is broken down by chemical processes inside an organism's body to obtain energy so which is the correct option food or nutrition as we know food is broken down by chemical processes inside an organism's body to obtain energy the answer is food see the second question dash gas is produced during photosynthesis so plants will take the carbon dioxide and it releases the oxygen so which gas will produce during the photosynthesis we know the answer is oxygenous gases produced during photosynthesis look at the third question the opening and closing of stomata are regulated by gut cells or xylem xylem is used to transport the water and minerals from to root to stem so the right answer is gut cells see the fourth question structures that carry starch to various parts of the plant are called dash so which structure will transport the starch to various parts xylem or phloem xylem transport the water and minerals so the answer is phloem carry the starch to various parts of the plant now see the last question dash help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen so to fix the atmospheric nitrogen which will help rhizobium help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen now we will discuss the very short answer type questions first we will discuss give two examples for each of the following see the first question essential requirements of photosynthesis so what are the essential factors of photosynthesis they are sunlight chlorophyll water and carbon dioxide any two can write see the second question mode of nutrition we know there are two modes of nutrition they are autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition see the third question parasitic plants what are the parasitic plants dodder and mistel to are the parasitic plants see the fourth question saprophytic plants indian pipe coral root and orchids any two can write see the last question insectivorous plants what are the insectivorous plants are there they are venus flytrap sundew plants picture plant and bladder root any two can write answers are given in the right side just pause the video and verify the answers now we will discuss the name the following see the first question the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body is nutrition see the second question another name for autotrophic plants producer is the another name for autotrophic plant see the third question structures which contain chlorophyll so which structure will contain chlorophyll chloroplast will contain chlorophyll see the fourth question the mode of nutrition in which an organisms cannot prepare its own food and depends on other organisms for food so we know two modes of nutrition are there they are autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic they can prepare their food by themselves and heterotrophic they depend on other organisms so the answer is 
heterotrophic nutrition see the last question plants which grow and live on dead and decaying organic matter so which plant will grow on dead and decaying organic matter they are saprophytic plants now we move to the descriptive type questions first we will discuss the short answer questions see the first question define nutrition name the two modes of nutrition so how will you define the nutrition the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body is known as nutrition so what are the two modes of nutrition are there they are autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition second question define photosynthesis and write its chemical equation so how we will define the photosynthesis the process by which green plants having chlorophyll synthesize the simple sugar that is the glucose from the simple raw materials they are water and carbon dioxide using the energy of sunlight is called photosynthesis look at the equation so carbon dioxide plus water which gives glucose with water and oxygen so the plant will take carbon dioxide and water with the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight and it gives glucose water and it releases the oxygen see the third question explain how gases exchange takes place through stomata in the presence of sufficient light and water the gut cells become turgid resulting in the swelling and opening of the stomata allowing the carbon dioxide to enter the leaf the reverse of this happens when the gut cells are falcid in the picture you can see the open stomata and closed stomata generally gut cells are specialized to pair shells surrounding each stoma of the leaf when the gut cells become turgid turgid means it is the state of being swollen due to high fluid content when gut cells become turgid they cause the stoma to open so during that time the carbon dioxide will enter inside the leaf and the stoma closes when the gut cells become falcid that is the reverse happens when the gut cells are falcid falcid means it is weak and soft look at the fourth question draw a label diagram of a chloroplast you can see the chloroplast picture here each chloroplast contains stalks of thylakoids they are called grana stalks of thylakoid means it is looks like a coin the coins are arranged in a straight way the stalks of thylakoids are called granum and you can see the aqueous space where grana are arranged is called stroma now we move to the fifth question what do you understand by a symbiotic relationship give an example a situation in which two dissimilar organisms live together in close association for mutual benefit is called symbiosis so what do you mean by symbiosis there are two dissimilar organism they live together the plants which are part of symbiosis are called symbiotic plants example for symbiotic plants are lichens are symbiotic plants in association between algae and fungi now we will discuss the distinguish between the following the first question is autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition so what do you mean by autotrophic nutrition the mode of nutrition in which an organism prepare its own food from simple raw materials so what are the raw materials water sunlight chlorophyll they are the raw materials in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll they prepare their own food example for autotrophic nutrition is our green plants they are also called producers heterotrophic nutrition the mode of nutrition in which an organism cannot prepare its own food and it depends on other organism for food so the heterotrophic plants they cannot prepare its own food they depend on other organisms example for heterotrophic plants are non green plants like fungi coral insectivorous plants symbiotic plants they are the heterotrophic nutrition plants see the second question distinguish between xylem and phloem what do you mean by xylem the structures which help in transporting water and minerals up to the leaves through the stem and phloem means what in phloem the structures which transport the prepared food that is the starch to different parts of the plant so xylem transport water and minerals to the leaves through the stem and phloem transport what the food that is the starch to different parts of the plant now see the third question distinguish between parasitic plants and symbiotic plants so parasitic plants they derive some or entire nutritional requirement from another living plant but symbiotic plants are they are 
two dissimilar organisms they live together in close association for mutual benefit see the second point in the parasitic plants all parasitic plants develop modified roots that may obtain nutrients from the root and shoot system of the host plant host plant means we in which they get the full nutrition and see the symbiotic plant second point certain plants live in symbiotic relationship for their survival which often results in mutual benefit but may harm one or both of the species examples for parasitic plants are dodder and mistletoe are the examples for parasitic plants and lichens root of leguminous plants are the examples of symbiotic plants now see the fourth question distinguish between bladder wort plant and picture plant see the first point in bladder wort plant bladder wort plant have tiny bladder like structures on their underwater leaves bladder have tiny vacuum trap doors also in picture plant see the first point the leaf is modified as a tubular picture like structure that acts as a trap for the prey see the second point in the bladder wort plant the trap doors are surrounded by hairs to attract the prey when an animal comes near the hair the door snaps open in a fraction of second sucking the animal inside the bladder so like this the bladder wort plants attract the prey see the second point in the picture plant the inner lining of the picture has hair that does not allow the trapped prey to escape so the insect stuck inside the inner lining of the picture plant and it does not allow the insect to escape look at the third point in the bladder wort plant once the plant trap the insect the plant absorbs the animals nutrients using digestive juices and look at the picture plant third point the fluid is present inside it contains a digestive juices that digest the prey today we discussed up to distinguish between the next class we will discuss the long answer questions thank you children we will see in the next class uh, uh, uh.